Hi right, y'all, welcome to Lip Box TV. I'm Lord I Kim. And um I just finished uploading the video our first episode of Court of Public Opinion. Everybody should go check that out. I think it's a real dope video. I like the way that video came out. Got to hear a lot of people's uh <clears throat> opinions and thoughts on certain things. But um before I get out of here, I just want to touch on something that's been on my mind, like the difference between hustling and scamming you know i grew up in the hustling era and now it's like we in a scamming era and it's like it's like a big difference it's kind of some of the things are the same but a lot of it is different and i'm gonna just go over that real quick um it's oh you we lit lip box when i'm turned up it go down you know how i get you know how i get you know i'm legit you know i'm legit you know i be lit you know i be lit and i'm on a mission to hit every city when you see me get with me it's lit Box TV is lit. When I was growing up, a hustler, he wanted to make a dollar out of 15 cents. You know, um, so, you know, most hustlers, they, they either work for someone, then they learn the game, and then they got their own stuff. And like, let's be clear, when I'm talking about hustling, I'm not just talking about drugs, okay? You could, you could, I know dudes who were selling socks for somebody on the street and then they learned the game found out where the sock connect was went to buy their own socks and start selling socks and killed it you understand clothes all different type of stuff so it's not just about hustling but in this scenario it's, it's mainly about just hustling and you know like drugs and you know scamming and stuff like that so um yeah it was just it was like you 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 kind of value the money more because it it, it took a long a lot a little bit longer to stack up. You understand what I'm saying? So when you kind of stacked it up, you kind of valued it more. You know, um, unless you know you was like big time hustlers like Alpo and them dudes. You know, and and Ferg and and uh like Ty Stick and just certain dudes. You know, certain dudes would you know. Back in the days, they would throw money away, but it wasn't it wasn't like it is today. You know, dudes, don't get it twisted. Dudes would gamble and they would spend money, but it's not like it is today. You understand? And I'm going to explain that a little bit uh, better. But um, I just feel like nowadays, since scamming started, it's like black people is hustling backwards. It's like we hustling ass backwards. You know, it's like all the drug dealers back in the 80s and 70s who had millions and got nothing to show for it. They didn't buy all the brownstones in Harlem. They didn't buy none of the stuff they were supposed to buy with their they hustling money. You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, some of the hustlers took their money and opened stores. Like that was the thing back in the days, to have a store, to have like a... a you just you just use your hustling money to to go legit to be legitimate like that was the name of the game we gonna hustle we're gonna get this money up and then we're gonna go legit okay we're gonna open a laundry man we're gonna we're gonna open up a car wash we're gonna open up a grocery store we're gonna do something because let's be real like that's what a lot of the triads them asian gangs and italian gangs and mafias that's what they did with their money okay miami was built off of drug money. Las Vegas was built off of illegal liquor money. Okay, this is what these people did with their ill-gotten gains. So the question I'm presenting to the scammers out here today is like, what are y'all doing with your ill-gotten gains? Because to me, it seems like all y'all doing is making Dior more richer, Moet Rose more richer, the, the jeweler with them bullshit ass diamonds more richer and let's just be real the money's in gold diamonds are bullshit you've never ever in your life heard of a country's uh, economy being backed by diamonds okay you heard of a country being backed by gold you heard of a country being backed by silver you never heard of a country economy being backed by diamonds because diamonds are bullshit and they overcharging dudes but that's another story they look nice i like nice and shiny things too i got some diamonds so i'm not attacking anyone for having it i'm just presenting the facts this is the facts I, I you know i was victim to that shit too buying nice and shiny bullshit you understand what i'm saying but it seems like nowadays 
these scammers is all about just stunting on each other. It's like that's what we turned into. We turned into a culture of show-offs. Like that's all we want to do is we just want to show. It's like we don't even really want nothing. We just want to show off for each other, you know? And it's like a contest. In, in the music industry, it's like it's a contest to see who can say the dumbest shit now. And in the scamming world, it's a contest to see who could do the dumbest shit with their money and act like it don't even matter. That's what this is, that's what it's coming to now. It's just like, like, it's almost like, it's like we don't want nothing, you know? It, 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 or, or we scared, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just, I'm puzzled by it because it's just like, like, I got some designer clothes, not a lot, but like now, like I'm 44 years old. I can't, it, I'm, I'm more logical now. I don't see the logic in a $3,000 Dior sweater. I just don't see it. I don't got 30 million. I don't even got 3 million. If you see me with a Dior sweater, I got 3 million. The 30 million, like, I'm, I don't got no 20,000. Like, this dude's like, with shortbread, spending half of it on a Dior fit. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, logically, that just doesn't make sense to me anymore. Don't get it twisted. I got $1,200 Versace hoodies. Louis shoes and belts and all of that, but that's when I wasn't as logical as I am now. Now it doesn't really make any sense to do that before you do this. So that's what this video is mainly about. Like if you out there getting money, listen, be safe. Every, I've never hated on a man a day in my life, man or woman. I never hated on anybody getting money. I've helped so many people get money. Okay, people who know me know this. So. I never hate on anybody. I just want to see y'all doing better with the money. Just do better with the money. Buy these businesses. It's yours. The money's there, and I know it's there. See these pe other people. If you're not in the life that, if if you wasn't in the lifestyle I was in, and you didn't live that life, then you don't know. You really don't know how much money is really out here. But to my gamblers, dudes who be in gambling spots, and I'm not talking about these little Roach Motel spots, I'm talking about real gambling spots with real gamblers, okay? The spot you could go in tonight and come out with 50,000, 60,000, 100 and something thousand, just from throwing a few head cracks. I'm talking about those spots, okay? Where everybody in there, where the house, where the house cut 100,000 for the night. I'm talking about those type of spots. You, you understand what I'm saying? Okay, it's like, it's like these scammer dudes, it's like you don't work hard for the money, so then you take it and then you just throw it away. It's like a, it's like we living in a something for nothing generation. Everyone expect something for nothing. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to say I blame it on the scammers because the scammers got so much for nothing. And then they went out there and gave. Like they, they just threw money at the strippers. These strippers didn't even do anything. Like back in the days, listen, let me tell you something. I used to go to Sue's Rendezvous. Rest in peace to Sue's Rendezvous because it's closed. But that's the club Major Galore and Cardi and all of them used to work in, okay? I used to go to that club 20 something years ago when it was only Puerto Ricans in there. It was straight up Puerto Ricans in there. This is even before the Dominicans came and started going crazy, okay? It was nothing but Puerto Ricans in there and a few white boys, okay? And you know how they would tip? They would tip, the girl would come around and tip one little dollar at a time. One little dollar at a time. The girl wanted to make some money, she had to go in the back and get some lap. Then she had to work, she had to hustle. She had to hustle. Nowadays these chicks don't even gotta hustle. Because we living in a something for nothing society. You got the, you got all that money doing damn near nothing, so you gave it to this girl and she didn't do anything and now she's valuing herself. She thinks she's worth more than what she is because you gave her all of that and, and you only gave it to her because you didn't hustle for it. You scammed, okay? So what I'm saying is we just gotta be smarter with our money. That's what this video is really about. We have to start being smarter with our money. The hustlers, the scammers, have to start investing in the hustlers, okay? The illegal people need to start taking some of that money and giving it to the legitimate people so they could go do some legitimate things to have your back in case your ass get locked up one day, okay? So you could, so you know, listen, Read 
The Crack Era by Kevin Childs. That is a, listen, when I read that book, shout out to Kevin Childs, because when I read that book, I literally felt like I was there again. Like it's there. If you want to know how life was in the 80s and the early 90s, go get that book. That book is an exact representation of the crack era. Like he laid that out immaculately. I guess it was maybe a good read to me as well because I knew some of the characters in the book that he was referring to. I actually met some of them and was around them. So it just. That was a good book, but he really showed how dudes was really out here getting a hustle on. So that's what I'm saying. All right, we in the scammer era now, okay? Cool, it is what it is, okay? But let's do right by each other with this money that we out here making. That's all I'm saying. You, 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 you know a female with a great business plan. Invest in her. Invest in your brother, invest in your cousin, invest in your man, invest. But, but believe me, like dudes is really taking, going to clubs and throwing thirty, forty thousand dollars away while they men right next to them is popped. Popped, like the nigga next to you is broke. And he partying with you, you sh he's smoking for free, he's drinking for free, and you gave him money to throw out. Lord knows if he put that money in his pocket, y'all gonna clown him. And I've seen that. I've seen that. Yo, shout out to my man. My white boy, shout out to Lofi, man. Because I remember I re invited my white boy. Let me tell you something, this is how different, this is how crazy it is. I remember I had a birthday party in Sin City. I invited my white boy, Lofi. Lofi came and he seen the way niggas was throwing their money away and couldn't believe it. This white boy was like, what the, what the hell? Yo, I swear to God, he hit me when he left. and said, yo, I had a great time and I picked up $180. <laughs> he said I couldn't believe they was just letting the money sit on the floor like that. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God. Like white people different. And my man Lofi most likely had more money than most people in there. The white boy I brought, invited to my party had more money than most of the niggas in there. That white nigga had more money than most of the black niggas in there. And he scraped up a one, what? Niggas, who, who, you ain't going, man. He said, yo, I had a great time. Next time, invite me, I'll make sure I pick up some more money because I, I ain't know it was that easy. Like, I never forgot that. Like, you know, and then it's like, you, you go hang out with these dudes, they don't pop bottles, they don't do nothing. They don't do none of that. They don't do none of that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Shout out to all my promoters and party dudes who do their thing with the parties. Like that's all good when you situated, you know, but it's not good when you, when you trying to get situated or on your way to get situated or it's not good when you ain't do right by mama yet. It ain't, it ain't good to go spend 20, 30 in the club when you ain't do right by your family yet. When you ain't do right by the kids, you ain't do right by the community. Like that's just, we got to snap out of that. We have to snap out of that. We have to start leaving things behind. Like, you know how people say, yo, you can't take the money with you when you die, duh. I don't wanna take it with me when I die. I wanna leave it to someone. So we gotta get in that mentality, you know? Like, it's cool. If you scamming, do what you do. I'm not here to knock nobody, okay? Cause I done been down many paths in the, in the name of chasing that almighty dollar. Okay, but if you scamming, get yours and be safe. But after you finish scamming, don't forget to start hustling. Okay, because that's where the real resu results come from. Hustling. What are you doing with your ill-gotten gains? Are you hustling? You know, are you setting up a system that's going to generate passive income? Because that's what we should be doing. I've had plenty of opportunities to do that and didn't do it, you know? And like, I'm gonna leave it at this. Cause I tell my children and I tell everybody I care about that's young, okay? This is for the youngins right now. Pay attention, youngin. You got two choices in this world and only two choices, okay? You can either play while you're young 
and have to work when you're old, or you're gonna have, or you're gonna work when you're young, and play when you're old. And believe me, you don't want to be 44 years old working your ass off. You don't want to be 60 years old having to work your ass off because you was doing a bunch of playing in your 20s. You was jerking your money around in your 20s, in your 30s, okay? So it's just like, just smarten up. Like I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do with their money. I'm really not. I'm just trying to tell y'all to use logic and think, think. You understand what I'm saying? And, and make sure you saving for a rainy day and, and you setting up other people so they're in a position to help you if, if anything ever go wrong. You know what I'm saying? Always, you out here scamming, you out here hustling, you out here getting ill-gotten gains, always make sure you got the get caught plan. And the get caught plan is to make sure if your ass get caught, somebody has your back. And let that somebody be you because you made smart decisions with your money. And I'm out. Peace. It's Oh, you we lit, lit box. When I'm turned up, it go down. You know how I get, you know how I get. You know I'm legit, you know I'm legit. You know I be lit, you know I be lit. And I'm on a mission to hit every city. When you see me get with me, it's lit. Lit box TV. It's lit.